Good afternoon. My name is Rob White. I'm the president of Dahlstrom Metal Moldings, a division of the Dahlstrom Roll Form Company. And we're here today out in the plant to talk about uh, the durability of moldings when they're applied in the field and comparing different materials. Uh, we're gonna start out with uh, part one of a three-part series on what is the most durable molding that can be used in interior architecture in today's market. So we'll start out with the, what we're going to categorize here as the impact test. And we're gonna use a very lightweight hammer that's just dropped by gravity only onto the surface and to the molding, the molded part of different materials and see the impact of um, you know, this, this force and, and any imperfections that could apply that represents you know, an impact in the field. Uh, a vacuum cleaner, uh, a suitcase, uh, you know, just anything that uh, would hit up against a piece of molding you know, when it's installed. So we're gonna start out with plain pine, which is probably the softest um, um, wood used for molding, but it's also the most prevalent because of its cost. So let's try just a surface impact here. Drop. We're gonna do it twice. Then we're gonna do it once on the corner. And here's the result of, of those, those impacts on a piece of pine. You can see those dents in the face and then you can of course see a dent right on the molded section. Next we're gonna use MDF, which is medium density fiberboard. It's a composite material. Uh, it's also very inexpensive, but it has some qualities that are not good with moisture and so forth, but it's also very popular in, in the industry because of its cost. So same thing, just gravity, gravity drop. And then once on the edge. And actually the medium density fiber board is a little bit better. You can see the, the, uh, uh, the, the result of those blows on that piece. It, uh, it performed a little bit better. Now they're not as deep as the pine. Next, uh, a, a more expensive wood, of course. This is a solid oak. Um, very beautiful, uh, also uh, very expensive. You know, this can run five to eight dollars a lineal foot, and that's before it's installed and the finishing is the final finishing is put on. But it's a hard wood and it should do well on this test. Okay, and then we still do see some imperfection on that oak from this impact. Next, another very common material is vinyl. Vinyl is inexpensive. It has to be glued on and peeled off for replacement, but uh, inexpensive and uh, readily available. We'll try and see what happens on the vinyl. So again, there is some scuffs that occurred from those impacts. And of course, this is very difficult to repair. You know, vinyl being, uh, um, you can't kind of spackle it and paint it like you could with these other, the other woods. And then of course, we have a steel molding. These moldings are manufactured by Dahlstrom. Uh, there's over 500 different varieties. And um, we'll see how these do on the impact. So you can see here, very little, very little uh, effect of the uh, of those impacts. Maybe some tiny little nicks on there, but not very noticeable, uh, you know, as as compared to the other materials. So that's that's all we have for today on part one of a three part series. Like I said, uh, checking the durability of moldings, and um, the next the next uh, part will be um, an abrasion resistance test. So stay tuned for that. Thanks. Thanks.